Hello everyone. Welcome to the PR Software's YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about how to create a multiple window layout in Ticket. So first I will show you the diagrammatic representation of Ticketer layout. So first I will create the first window where I need the two buttons. One is the login button and second is the register button. So if I click on login, my login window should open and if I click on register, register window should open. So how to create this window first that we will discuss. So let me erase this part and start with the video. So I have already created one Python file in the pie chart. This multiple window concept we are going to see by using the class and object concept. So I will create one class and my class name I will give as multi window. You can give any class name, just I'm giving the meaningful name guys. If anybody getting confused or writing very big, I will give the shortcut name as multi window MW. That's your wish, whatever the name. Then I will give here one constructor called def underscore underscore init. Why constructor guys? Because when I create the object, I want to open directly my layout. So that's why we are giving constructor. In this one, we'll create the normal tkinter. To use the tkinter, first you should import the tkinter layout. Already fundamental part, you guys are aware guys. So I no need to explain all this stuff again. tkinter import star. If anybody new directly watching this video guys, I will recommend. I have already four videos uploaded. First watch that all the fundamental so that this video will not feel fast because here I will write direct code. So you might be feel little fast. Then I will write root dot main loop. So what I did, I just write the starting and ending part. I want to run this code. So if you want to run this code, the first thing you should create the object of your class. What is my class? MW. So when I call object, you know that constructor will get call automatically. So let us run and test it up to here. Is it fine or not? Yes, code is absolutely fine. So now guys, here onwards we'll continue. Make sure whatever you're writing, don't take this M and C should be in one line. Class and object should be in one line. Create the two button. Sir, I want to create the size. I want to change the title. Everything you already aware. You can change it as per your required. Next, I want button. So I will take B1 is equals to button. I want this button on the root and button text I want as a login. So I'm taking login. Second, b1 dot place x axis, I will take it 50 and y axis 50. So my button will get place. Second button b2 is equals to button root comma text of the button I want as register. So I will give register b2 dot place x axis, I will take 50, y axis, I will take 100. So that this button will come just to below to this. Let us run. So two buttons we are getting. Now the thing is, if I click on login, where it should go? If I click on register, which it should go. So here, what do you have to write? Comma, command. I will write here, cell dot login. Means if I click on login, it should go to the cell dot login. If I click on register, it should go to cell dot register. So what we need to do is we have to create this function. When you create this function very carefully guys, make sure it should be in the line of def very carefully while you write all this stuff. Okay. Everything you keep in front of you so that you will not have any doubts. Okay. So class def here, what I will do, I will create the one function called def one first name is login. And right now I will write pass. Pass means empty right now. I will write the code. Dev register. And here also I will make it empty. Case. Okay. Once there is no error guys, start writing the code inside the login. In login, I need to create one more window. But already the root window name is given. So don't give the root window. Give something different. You can give, but I will recommend not to give because confusion will happen in the future root dot main loop. 
so this is for login window and just set the title l root dot title what title you want suppose i want login window so login window will get title and size i want to change so geometry 500 by 500 all this stuff already you guys are aware guys. okay exactly same thing i will copy paste inside the register but instead of l root i want it to change as r root rest all is fine and heading i will write here registration window is it clear if i click on login login will open if i click on register register guys name you can give anything whatever you are giving here make sure exactly same it should be okay let us run and test up to here click on login login window is coming click on register registration registration window is coming now fill the details into this so in the login window how many things we want we want label so let us say i want name is equals to or you name is equals to label l root while you write guys this root here make sure whatever this variable exactly same you have to check it take it everywhere not every, one place everywhere l root don't write root by mistake if you write root it will go to the previous window i will show you that practical text what text you want for this one i will say username so write here username and that designing part already you are aware you do that one okay you name dot place x axis i want 50 and y axis i want suppose 100 this is about username box guys here. Now next is I want username entry. Same I want username dot place x axis. I want suppose this is already I took uh, 50. So almost around 150 I will take it. And y axis I will take 110. So you all know how to use the x and y axis. So no need to discuss much here. See, username I got, but entry I didn't get. Can you see it? Entry is coming on the root window. I told you. Now, because we are having multiple window, your window will get confused. So, compulsory, what name you have to pass inside that L root. So, by default, it is taking root, but we want to shift to this window, so L root. That's why here also L root you have to write. Now, you see. Perfectly fine. Same thing I want for password. Let us take password is equals to label l root comma text. I'm writing here password password dot place x axis is equals to I will write 50 and y axis I will write around 150. This is for label box password underscore box here also i will write username underscore box okay password underscore box is equals to entry entry l root now password underscore box dot place x axis how much you want whatever the x axis of this box you have to take the same here also guys so this box is x axis 150 you write 150 y axis here 150 so you write 160 that setup already we discussed a lot so you guys are aware what is what Done. the last is submit button i think so right here submit button so what i will do Submit, submit is equals to button, L root, comma, text of the button I want as a submit or login, whichever you want. And then submit dot place, X axis I will take it as 150 and Y axis I will take it as 200, just below to that. So let us run. So perfectly fine. But window size is very big. I don't want this much big. 
So let us change the window size to around 300 plus 300 because it is very big. We don't want that much big. Okay, looks good. Now when I click, where it should go? To the next page. So I'll come here. We have to write here command prompt. What is the concept? Command. Now already login I gave. gave so I will write here login details. Login details means when I click on the command, where it should go? Login details function. So come down, create one more function. Make sure exactly in the same line of def details. Now when you click there, it will come here. Now guys, here one more point. When I click on the login details, I want to read about username box details and password box details. But this both the variables are local. Can I call one method data into another method if it is local? No. If I want to shareable means what you have to write? Cell. So one change you have to do guys here, cell. Wherever the entry box is there, just that variable you write as a cell so that you can call outside. Otherwise you can do one thing. Let me just call and show you first. In this one, I'm trying to call you name is equals to you box. Am I getting anything? You box? No. Why? Because it is not accessible. To make it accessible, you can write here cell dot cell dot. Here also the same thing you write it down. Cell dot and for password box also cell means now I can call these details here. I will write you name. Now you write cell dot you name box dot get. So my username is here. Password is equals to self dot password underscore box dot. So I will read this username and password. Now validation if you want to do normal, you can write username equals to equals to PR softwares. And PWD equals to equals to PR softwares. When both are matching, I will say we have to create the message box window. Here, what do you have to write? Import tkinter dot message box as MSG. Now come here and write one message. MSG dot show info result logged in successfully. Else message dot show info result invalid detail. So guys, in the first part, we are not focusing on the database. Once you complete this thing, then I will connect the database and I will show you how to validate us. Let us check now everything is working fine or not. Give the PR softwares. Here also PR softwares. You click on login. Invalid details. Spelling mistake somewhere I gave wrong. Okay. Here I wrote wrong spelling. So PR softwares. Okay. So give here PR softwares. PR softwares. Okay. Again invalid. Let me check PR softwares. Okay. PR softwares both are correct only why it's giving invalid guys let cross check it okay here i did no, okay fine here if i do spelling mistake here also i wrote same so not a problem so where's double equals to here also we have double equals to logged in successfully okay here is the spelling mistake so here so sometimes it happens guys and here spelling mistake is their name but not a problem because i wrote both the places same so that is not too much here so logged in successful so this is about the login window same thing for register in the register again you want to create the layout like username password and all so you can write that so what i will do here guys I will create 
suppose i want name so i will write name is equals to label r root what is the label text i want label text suppose example i want as a name so write name name dot place x axis is equals to 50 y axis is equals to 100 same name underscore box entry r root is mandatory as i told you name underscore box dot place x axis will write 150 and y axis will write 116 this is about what name same i want for roll number so roll is equals to i will copy paste the label data take the roll and roll dot place x axis 150 y axis so x axis will come 50 only because first is there y axis will be 150 now here one thing you remember guys whatever the box will create now onwards make a habit to write self because this data i want to call outside that you make a habit now onwards. same for roll number underscore box entry r root roll number underscore box dot place x axis will be 150 y axis will be 160 and this is also i will make it as self dot so here guys i am making two things name and roll number how many you want you can just add as per your requirement that is your wish how many you want button r root text register command is equals to self dot registration see already register is there on the top so don't give register again give something different so that's why i'm giving registration submit dot place x axis will be 150 y will be 200 now if you run you will get error because registration is not completed so you can come here wherever you want to add you can add i will add here only def registration right now i will write pass data i will read it up to here check it once login working registration working name role now what i want if i click i want to read the data here so i will write name is equals to self dot name underscore boss dot get roll number is equals to self dot roll number underscore get you want to print this data so msd show info result com name concatenation roll number so whatever name and roll number i enter that will come so once you practice this one database is very easy already you are aware otherwise if you want me to explain i will explain once so write the name suppose i am giving my name is Prem. roll number is 101 so Prem 101 is correct so here basic thing what you should remember while you practice guys all the class and the down object should be in one line that is the point number one okay all the depth should be in one line if you are getting anything error in the middle it means your depths are not all the depth are not in one line so compulsory you have to write what in 